Happy St. Patrick's Week, everyone. Let's do this. everyone uh welcome to the third and uh sadly last day of our uh, saint patrick's week episodes yes i know a week is seven days but uh yeah it's, i think it's best for everyone most uh, most of all me uh to not do seven days uh of drinking irish drinks i could do it <laughs> there's enough content out there for me to do seven episodes but no, that's, uh, <laughs> I think, I think three is just fine. Uh, so today we're doing Irish whiskey. It says right here, the mission statement on this coaster, basement beer tastings, and I'm not tasting beer today, I'm tasting Irish whiskey. Uh, I've got a, an assortment of you we're going to try. I uh, decided to narrow it down to three. Uh, this is not going to be one of them. This is just nasty stuff if, if i ever serve this to you in my home it's it, i'm just trying to get you to leave so we're just gonna we're just gonna put that one like right aside that's that stays way over there we're gonna do two um that i got as christmas gifts this, this past year uh that i had never tried it before and we'll uh, finish things off with uh my current favorite irish whiskey uh so let's uh let's let's give this a go all right, we're gonna uh, we're gonna start things off with something called Proper Twelve. Uh, Proper Twelve is a triple distilled Irish whiskey from uh, Connor Mc. Uh, I was gonna say Connor McDavid. No, it's from Connor McGregor, the uh, UFC fighter. Uh, I'm more of a hockey guy. Uh, yeah, I guess he took enough blows to the head that he realized he you know he should probably do something else for his income. Um, yeah, so it's been around for like a couple of years. Uh, it's around the same price point as uh say um uh jameson's or uh, bushmills uh, i think it's yeah it's, it's under 40 dollars for for a bottle uh, here in manitoba so all right oh i really love the smell of an irish whiskey so i come from a scottish background um first member of my family to be born in canada all my siblings uh, were born in scotland uh, so you're thinking, yeah, I'd probably move more of a Scotch whiskey guy, and I do really like my Scotch. You can see I've got a few Scotches behind me. I, I've got some favorites. I got some I really like. Um, but to be honest, my my favorite kind of whiskey is, is an Irish, and it's just, I don't know. It's uh, I like the smoothness of it. Uh, I do like, you know, my, my, my PD scotches once in a while, but there's something about a nice, smooth Irish whiskey that, that I really enjoy. Um, and I mean, I had said on the show before, I'm not a, a beer expert. I'm also not a whiskey es expert. Uh, I do appreciate whiskeys uh, and beers, um, obviously. Um, but, you know, I'm not, I, I don't know anything about the distilling process or, or any of that kind of stuff. But uh, I know what I like. Um, so uh, let's start with this, uh, the proper 12. It's quite smooth. It's, uh, not only the same sort of price point as the Jameson's, but a similar kind of a taste. Uh, and I know Irish whiskeys are, they don't have the big, um, range of tastes i think as you as you get with scotches you know scotches you, you you get your smooth and your peaty and all kinds of different things going in levels of smokiness and irish tends to be a, a little sweeter and smoother um and that's definitely the case with this um yeah i think it's not far off from actually i'd even say bushmills more than jameson's i think uh, Bushmills is a, a, a little smoother, and, and, and so is this. Um, so what can I tell you about this other than uh, I got it for Christmas? And, and, and interestingly enough, uh, part of how this show uh, came to be came from I got two Irish whiskeys for Christmas that I had never tried, this being one of them, and I decided to look them up uh, online. 
um, before sampling them, just to, to you know find out a little bit of what, what they were all about. And I ended up spending an afternoon watching uh, whiskey tasting videos on YouTube and thought, well, this is kind of fun. I could do this with beer. So that's kind of how the show came to be. So, um, yeah. Um, so as I said, it was, it's uh, made by, well, made, I don't, I don't know if Connor McGregor is getting right in there and making it, but uh, he's the one who put this out. Um, it's this, uh, triple distilled Irish whiskey. Uh, and uh, let's see what it says on the back here. Paying tribute to where it all began for me, Dublin 12. Our master distiller and I set out with one goal in mind, to craft a proper Irish whiskey that is true to Ireland. Uh, we are honored to share this smooth and balanced spirit, a fine blend of golden grain and full-flavored malted barley, uh, triple distilled and aged in bourbon barrels. Uh, proper number 12 offers hints of vanilla, honey-like sweetness, and uh, toasted wood, a proper salute to all. Let's see if I can discern the vanilla and the honey uh, in here. Yeah, in the, in the smell, I mean, you can definitely get a sweetness for sure. I mean, I don't know if I could identify that as vanilla or honey, but it's definitely sweet. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, the the vanilla for sure, a little bit in there. Yeah, you get a, a little bit of that. Um, not much of a, like a spiciness to it or anything like that. Um, but no, it's it's very nice. Uh, and again, you can get this for under forty dollars, so it's a it's a pretty affordable uh, bottle. Um, yeah, that's a uh, proper twelve. Proper twelve. All right. So next up is. Uh, it's the sleekest, most stylish bottle I have ever seen. Uh, look at that. Sexton Single Malt Irish Whiskey. Uh, it's got this dapper skeleton on there. And he's even on, on, the, on the cap, on the top. Uh, this retails for uh, closer to the $50 mark. Um, and when I was looking up the history on it, um, like this... Like, I never never heard of this before and couldn't find a whole lot online. But people seem to think um, it's uh, somehow related to Bushmills, that the folks in Bushmills are, are involved in, in making sex and single malt. I don't know if that's true. That's just something I heard. I'm not doing any intense research on this one. I'm just uh, just doing some sampling. The one thing I'm going to say about this this incredible looking bottle um that is a bit of a disadvantage is it's a little tough to pour uh it's not so bad now that i've had a few drams out of here but but to start with it was really hard to pour and i was always spilling when i was having this but i try not to do that today all right yeah it goes it goes a lot easier when that thing's not filled right up to the top uh, this definitely has a stronger smell uh, than the Proper 12, for sure. Proper 12 was, like I said, kind of similar to a Bushmills, and just uh, very light and, and smooth in taste and smell. Um, but this is definitely stronger than that. Yeah, a stronger, richer taste to it, too. Um, not as sweet. If I had tasted this without having looked at the bottle, I probably would think uh, this were a scotch of some kind. It's, uh, it's a little more bite to the taste than, than uh, you usually get in an Irish whiskey. But just a little, right? Like it's not, it's, uh, it still goes down really easy. There's, there's a lot of reading on this bottle. It's, it's got a pretty epic story that, that, that goes all the way around. Uh, so I'm not going to read the, the whole thing to you, but, but it is done in, um, Spanish sherry casks. So, uh, that might be the kind of where some of that, um, <clears throat> a little more of a spice 
comes from, I'm going to say. It's definitely not as sweet uh, as the last one we tried, uh, but it is, it's, yeah, it's just got a really good, really good taste. Uh, I'd say for an Irish whiskey, it's, it's, uh, it's one of the more complex Irish whiskeys I think I've ever tried. Like, I always feel like you know what you're getting with an Irish whiskey. Um, like you'll notice the difference. The one one difference I always notice between price wise. Uh, so something in the the price level of proper twelve and, and uh, Jameson's uh, um, Bushmills that kind of thing is is a little more of an oiliness to it. So it's not so much the taste, but like the mouthfeel. There's there's a, a just an oiliness to it that once you get to ones that cost just that little bit more, uh, that's not present. So that's kind of the thing I always notice, you know, that, that if you're spending a little more on an Irish whiskey is kind of what you get. Uh, but for the most part, the taste I always felt with Irish, you, you kind of know what you're getting. But this is a little more complex. It's quite nice. Um, it's still got a little bit of the sweetness that you expect from an Irish, but it's just, there's just that little bit of a spiciness or a woodiness to it that, that I think comes from those sherry casks. That's that's what I'm going with anyway. It just occurred to me that my, my Irish whiskeys kind of look like a set of stairs. So we're going to finish off with something that I'm just really enjoying uh, these days. I, I It's a whiskey I discovered um, a couple of years ago at the Winnipeg Whiskey Festival. Uh, the Glendaloch which I'm probably butchering again. The Glendalo. Uh, Glendalo. Glendalo. Glen, Glendalo. 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 We're going to have this. Uh, <laughs> this is, uh, it's a double barrel Irish whiskey that I, I first discovered at the Winnipeg Whiskey Festival uh, a couple of years ago. And uh, it was kind of being introduced here at that time. Um, it's very, very nice. Uh, but why talk about it when I can pour myself a, a wee taste of it? There we go. It'll be a fun night. All right, so this is... Um, Aged in bourbon barrels and then sherry uh, barrels after that. Doesn't have much of a smell to it. Really light odor. Definitely not uh, anything like what, what the sexton was. Um, now that I think of it, if we were doing what I often do and, and like whiskey nights is, is kind of work your way up from the lightest to, to kind of the more complex and uh, smoky, heavy, peaty, that kind of thing. Um, probably should have uh, done the sexton after this one. Um, but I wanted to end with this because I know, I, I just know how much I like this. Yeah, it's really smooth. It is really, really smooth. And it hits you in waves. That, like, it's like I, I got like three waves of the flavor going there. Um, yeah, it's it's very, very nice. It runs about the same uh, price as the Sexton. It's about $50 a bottle. Um, but if you've got that extra 10, 12 bucks, uh, it, it is very, very nice. Um, apparently they do gins as well. Uh, if you, I wouldn't mind trying that at some time, but I don't think they have that here. But I've heard people talking about it and they really like it. Uh, so what's written on the back here? Uh, St. Kevin, the man on our bottle. It's uh, St. Kevin right there. Good old St. Kevin. Uh, St. Kevin, the man on our bottle, stood apart. This whiskey does the same. It has sucked the marrow out of two casks. An American bourbon barrel uh, giving sweet toasted vanilla notes. A Spanish Oloroso sherry barrel adding hints of dark dried fruit uh, and a slight nuttiness. 
non-chill filtered for a truer character. Um, yeah, I. This is one of my 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 favorite whiskeys out there at all. Uh, and again, I'm no expert. I just know what I like, and this is damn tasty. Um, so yeah, there you go. There's my uh, St. Patrick's Week. Uh, third episode down, last episode. Uh, but we will be back with some more shows. I've got um, at least one edited and ready to go that'll be up next week sometime where I'm tasting some beers out of British Columbia. Uh, and I've got uh, some other ones coming up. I've got some. So I've got an episode on German beers coming up sometime soon. Uh, I'm also going to be touching on a lot more of the uh, beers that are local here in Winnipeg, we've got our beer scene has really just started. It just started to take off in the last few years, uh, and then COVID hit. Um, so I, I don't know. I just want to keep supporting these local breweries because there's some great stuff. So till next time, uh, pour yourself something to drink and just say no to green beer. I was going over Torquid Kerry Mountains. Came on Captain Farrell and his money he was counting. I first produced my pistol, I then produced my rapier. Said stand and deliver, for I am the bold deceiver. Wish you a ring up to a blast.